Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So I knew this was going to pass the Senate. I knew it was going to pass extremely fast. It only took a matter of days and now another assault weapons ban has passed the Senate. We're going to talk about it today. We'll see you in court. This video is sponsored by LAS Concealment. If you're in the market for an excellent, high quality inside the waistband or outside the waistband holster, LAS Concealment is where you need to go. LAS Concealment makes holsters for appendix carry, side carry, back carry. They make them with side cars for mag holsters. They have every possible combination that you could just about imagine. LAS Concealment is not only top of the line when it comes to craftsmanship and material, but LAS Concealment also is top of the line when it comes to design and options. When it comes to the overall aesthetics of your holster, you cannot beat LES concealment. They are some of the coolest looking holsters that you're going to find. They accommodate your lights. They accommodate your accessories. They are made to last. This is a buy once, cry once type of product. So check out LES concealment. Okay, so let's go and talk about HB5471, which is more than just an assault weapons ban. This does quite a bit. As a matter of fact, there's age restrictions built into it, magazine capacity limitations built into it, uh, regulations on what type of ammo you can get. As a matter of fact, it bans things that are 50 caliber. Now, this was passed by the Illinois State House, uh, and then it went on to the Senate. The Senate passed HB5471, an amended version late Monday night. Make no mistake, when you vote for this today, you're violating your oath of office. So after this bill was in committee, some of the amendments that they made kind of clarified what is a so-called assault weapons. Again, going after more or less features, right? So it's a feature that determines what this thing is called. We all know it to be just a simple semi-automatic rifle, but because it has certain attached features, they're going to consider it defined as something completely different. So after those amendments were made, it went to the floor for a vote, and sure enough, it was right on party lines. It was 20 to 34, or 34 to 20, however you want to put it, but not a single Republican voted for this bill. As a matter of fact, they had some pretty harsh criticism, calling it tyrannical, saying that we'll see you in court, and that they know that when they vote for this, if they do vote yes on it, uh, that they are breaking their oath of office. Even after all of that, it still ended up passing. Now, since this bill was amended before it was passed, it has to go now back to the House for another vote. We already know that they're going to vote to pass it. They voted to pass the first one. This one's not going to be any different whatsoever. And then it's going to go straight up to Pritzker's desk. Now, Pritzker was actually at the first vote in the, in the House, so he was there to witness it, had a bunch of great things to say about the fact that it passed. And as a matter of fact, during his second inaugural speech, Pritzker actually, actually said that he is in support of the Senate bill that just recently passed as well. So we know that now that it, it's passed the House, passed the Senate, an amended version and going back to the House, it's going to go up to Pritzker's desk really fast. I mean, this entire process, to be honest with you, has only taken days. I mean, from the moment that it passed the House and it went on to the Senate, it's, it's literally only been days. Now it's going to go back to the House and up to Pritzker's desk, and I can almost guarantee that that's just going to be a matter of days as well. And then we're going to see some pretty strong gun control in the state of Illinois that will rival just about any other state. So again, there's going to be bans on arms, there's going to be bans on mags, there's going to be uh, age limitations, raising the Floyd age to 21. Uh, they're going to ban 50 caliber ammunition. There, there's so much that's involved with this bill that it basically just takes the Second Amendment and eliminates it in the state of Illinois. You're just, it's not going to be the Second Amendment anymore. You're going to have to ask permission, and that permission, if granted, only is going to allow you to, you know, obtain certain things. So with that in mind, that's what you can expect. As soon as this is signed into law, you're going to see him in court and even though the court process takes a long time, there's no way that something like this is going to be allowed to stand. Uh, it's existed for quite a while in other states, but even those states right now are looking at overturning them fairly soon. California has one that's been going on for quite some time that's in the end phase as well. And, you know, we can see a resolution in that that I think is going to go our way fairly shortly. And if that goes our way, that gives us a little bit more of a fighting edge when it comes to places like Illinois, New Jersey, and other states that impose something very similar. So, uh, again, we'll pay very close attention to this. We'll see what happens uh, when Pritz Pritzker signs it, see if this is the final amended bill that it's going to be before it goes up to his desk. But I want to thank you all very much for watching. Stay vigilant. You guys have a great day. We'll see you in court.